Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and I did perhaps write the last two reviews in preparation for receiving this thrilling three-pack. DX9's Doombringer set puts Plague, Tyrant, and Hurricane together in a retro-styled box and tweaks each and every one of them in at least one major way. Also, this thing only costs like 10 bucks more than the usual DX9 Warren Pocket 2-packs, so value, yo! Plague's got the most obvious alteration in that his bony off-white plastic has been replaced with a more cartoon-accurate sky blue. All of his topside vehicle mode paint apps have also changed from a darker rich blue paint to a lighter metallic blue paint. He also includes a gun, which has nowhere to store on this vehicle mode. Alas. In robot mode, all of those aforementioned changes are still real obvious, but made more obvious is the shift in his blue plastic parts to a darker and richer shade. Also, all the silver paint on the Doombringer version is a bit less thick, adhering to the sculpt a tad more cleanly. And of course, that gun! It's a simple unpainted affair that gives Plague the one thing he was truly missing when standing alongside his other two pals. Alright, this is way less obvious, at least in their alt modes. Doombringer Tyrant has one key difference here, which is that his orange cannon paint app ends cleanly on its sculpted border, rather than drifting onwards with gradiented overspray. Otherwise, the plastic colors seem close enough to identical to just call identical. I mean, the Doombringer purple might be a hair less saturated, but to my naked eye, it's basically the same. The silver paint is less thick, just like on Plague, and in robot mode that does a huge service to the brand new head sculpt. As I had alluded to in the last review, while I had no major problem with the old tyrant face, this new one is a HUGE improvement. It's cleaner, less stretched looking, and a whole lot more evocative of a classic Galva face. Also, weirdly, boot parts that were painted black on the original version have been molded in a slightly lighter and less glossy looking black plastic on the Doombringer version. And most importantly, the shoulders don't droop as much. They still do a little bit from time to time, which is getting more common as I continue to own this toy, mostly due to the weight of the cannon. But it's somehow slightly less frustrating to me now. And that brings us to Hurricane, whose purple plastic color has desaturated in hue from the original 2-pack version, even to my naked eye. And I don't mind this. What I do mind is how he's using almost exactly the same purple as Tyrant. And honestly, it's Tyrant who needs a bluer, more royal shade. Anyway, there's a weird change in jet mode where the old Hurricane had two screws up on the roof and the new Hurricane has none. New Hurricane also adds a peg that allows the nose cone to lock onto the back of the robot head, which solves one of the toy's biggest issues, and also makes the instructions look real dumb for telling you to turn the robot head 180 degrees for the jet mode transformation. If you do that, then you're just jamming a peg into his face, it's not gonna work, and then you might scratch something. Ignore the instructions. Anyway, robot mode solves the other biggest issue. Hurricane has thigh swivels now. This does so much for the figure on several subtle levels and elevates him enormously in the context of the Doombringer trio. Unfortunately, this version also loses the silver thigh paint apps, negating some of the IDW skirt armor effect of the sculpt. And the other end of the lack of visible screws on the jet roof comes to a head here as Doombringer Hurricane has a visible screw right dead center on his friggin' stomach. Personal taste! but I'd gladly have lived with rooftop screws on the alt mode if it meant there wasn't a thing right in the middle of his stomach in robot mode. Anyway, the last major change is that Hurricane's feet are now metallic purple, which would be fine if that paint appeared anywhere else. It's not terrible, but it sticks out in a lower tier of Henke kind of way. By the way, Hurricane's black plastics are all a little lighter, just like with Tyrant, while the gunmetal of his weapon's barrels is a touch darker. In general, despite its ups and downs, I would still say the Doombringer 3-pack is the categorically superior way to get all three of the figures found within. The overall hand-feel factor is improved on every moving part. Each member of the trio receives at least one solid upgrade, and I've got to say once again that this is the best value proposition of the entire Warren Pocket series to date but it's still got its downsides and weird decisions. Hurricane is vastly improved, for sure, but that belly screw is a real finish line stumble. Tyrant would have been marvelous in a richer purple hue, especially since he now ends up sharing the purple plastic color with his second in command, and it, man, they gotta be slightly different. It's just my taste. Finally, I wish Plague's gun could have stored somewhere on his spaceboat mode. As it is, I just tend to jam it onto Hurricane when the pair are both flying around. 
If you hadn't picked up any of these guys previously, you're very fortunate because this is a cheaper and superior experience. But if you do own the two-pack versions, listen, I'm right there with you. So believe me when I say, replace them. These are better. Keep the plague for sure, make him a sweep or something, but you're only going uphill if you trade out the Tyrant and Hurricane 2-pack for this far more effective 3-pack. As for those of you who've been on the fence for this whole Warren Pocket thing, or even just on the fence for this whole Doombringers thing, if this 3-pack isn't a big spend for you, give it a shot. The value is great for an unofficial release, and despite their faults, this trio is pretty darn solid for a pocket-sized squad of Unicronian Heralds. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis, and I'm real glad to see DX9 getting their war in pocket thing back on track. Yeah, some G1 Megatron thing came out as well, but friends, Leah and Toefold, more palm-sized 86 movie cast. Oh, how I want it.